Oh, they, oh no, they were so cute. And now they're all dead. Da, 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 da. Hello everyone and welcome to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Yes, it is another mod showcase. I know, I know. Really want to just do a let's play or a playthrough and I want to as well. It's just kind of hard to figure out what I want to do. Do I want to put myself through the hell that was another insane island to get five stars? No! No, I don't want to do that. Is there anything new really coming out for the game? No, this is too to be. So, I don't know. I've, I was thinking about streaming or doing something like that, but whew, I'm going to have to know what I'm doing when it comes to streaming. But to tide us over in the meantime, while I roll up my sleeves, it's tea break time. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, so coming at us today with the dehybridized dinosaur pack with a lovely little cover photo that's an homage to... Um, the DLCs that we do officially get from Frontier changes some hybrid dinosaurs back into normal dinosaurs. This being Eutoraptor, Bolerosaurus, and Agathomus. I've never honestly heard of two of those. I've definitely heard of Eutoraptor. So this, of course, takes uh, Stegoceratops and turns it into Agathomus, uh, Boreosaurus which was, of course, Ankylo Ankylodocus. Is it Ankylodocus or Ankylodocus? And Utah Raptor, which was Spina Raptor. Out of all of them, I think Utah Raptor has the most to live up to because Spina Raptor was kind of the best looking. But how about we start with a base genome, Bolariosaurus, just to see how this guy looks. Hmm, let's see. This was, of course, created by Sweetener. And was literally uploaded only like an hour ago of me recording this. I was just having a look at the uh, at the uh, website thinking, Oh, I wonder if there's anything being added. And there was. I was quite lucky. Ooh. He's a... He's a chunky boy. I don't actually know anything about this dinosaur. It being paleologically accurate or anything like that. So I'm sure. And even if I did, I'd be, I'd be wrong. I, there's always comments that tell me that anyway. <laughs> Ooh, interesting little head. Its mouth's really strange. Oh god. <laughs> it's really weird. I mean, I, I, I wonder if anything or how much of this is determined by its base genome, like it being actually Ankylodocus and they've had to model it, um, or whether it's supposed to look like that. Oh god, it looks like a horror movie from that angle. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's release the other ones, so the other skins that we'll have for them. But while those are being released, there is another mod I have in here. Yes! How about one thing when it comes to the modded community? Hasn't really been looked into. Oh, we've had dinosaurs. We've had new animation, kind of. But what about the humble path? Yes, something our visitors take for granted. Yet without them, they wouldn't be able to see any dinosaurs. Yes. What's this? <gasps> What's this? We have three new paths. So these are the normal paths you would normally have. <laughs> normally, normally. The normal, normal, normal path. The cheapy, cheapy, cheapo path. Or the fancy path. What about it makes it fancy? I don't actually know. So first off, a cheap, narrow path. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? A wooden path. Oh, wow. And a normal path is this thing. Moo. And of course, the fancy narrow path is this one. Oh no, we do. Okay, sorry. So there, there always was a narrow version, I think. Or at least I don't know what exactly they've done, but they've added a beautiful wooden texture to the path. So whether you want it to look like a boardwalk or a fancy little mall, or, I know, some warm mahogany, the choice is yours. I'm not gonna leave it there. Looks like a weird little worm. So let's have a look. What are these other skins? How do they look? Oh, oh wow. Oh, and you gorgeous looking. Ooh, just all farting around and that one's going inside itself. Okay. <laughs> right, so how about we look at Agathomus? <laughs> that one. And no, we're gonna look at even more than just these guys. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh, wow. That, um, that looks like it could be a toy or something. Ooh, a 
my Stegoceratops for me wasn't too bad. I think it was a little bit extra. <laughs> Just a little bit. I like the colours on it though. It's so... I don't know. Different. It, it it's it's really bespoke almost. It's a custom dinosaur. It's like, well, if we're gonna make a dinosaur, we're gonna give it all these different colours. And do I prefer this over Stegoceratops? Yes and no. I I think I'd like it in a different colour. So let's try a basic. Cause that oh wait, that wasn't basic? What was that one? Hold on, do we have another one over here? Oh, we got another Bolirosaurus over here. Okay, let's release that guy. Uh, let's have a look. What is this one? Out of curiosity, what color scheme are you? You are a woodland. Okay, well, let's check the basic skin. Oh. Okay, so it seems like it'll have the same pattern, just different colors. So we've got a... a oh, wow, look at the skin on this. Ooh, he's got like hard calluses in the back of him. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I wonder if they've just had fun with this. I like the non-symmetricalness of it. That's nice. How, is that is that a word? Non-symmetricalness? I don't think it is. There's definitely a word for it though, and I am not pronouncing it right. Oh, look at you, custard boy. Oh, you're cute. Hmm. Oh, we got another one. Are you a basic? Oh, you're a bluey purple. What about you is alpine? Not much. Uh, oh, yes. That's a bit nicer. I like the paler version. That is the jungle pattern. Do we have another one? Oh, we have one in here. A step pattern as well. So let's have a look at this guy. So at the moment, it's all peaceful herbivores. Oh, it's nice. Wait, you look... Aren't you the same? Or is there a little bit difference? Is the green lighter? Oh, it does. Yeah, so we got purple on the back for that orange guy. And then green on the back for this guy. Slightly different. But they have really put in some work when it comes to uh, the skin and the texture on that. Wow. I mean, there's a few little bits here and there that... I don't know, it's stretched out a little bit, but that's to be expected when you're working with something that, uh... Oh, do the eyes move? Maybe the eyes do move. I, I always thought with, uh, modded creatures that they just... Oh, no, they do! Yeah, they do move, of course. There's been a few... Well, I guess when they change the model completely, the eyes don't move, I suppose. <laughs> Unless they can move the eyes. But now we have got the Utah Raptor. And the Utah Raptor will actually start fights with not the bullier source, but with the Agathomus. But not only do we have Utah Raptor, oh, I'm having you hold on to the very end. We have something else in our midst. We have a T-Rex, but this isn't just any T-Rex. This is the definitive Roberta. So you may or may not be aware of the argument going on with the T-Rex. And if you're not, well, like, good for you. <laughs> So for a while, even Colin Trevorrow, or Trevorrow, the creator and director of the Jurassic World franchise, has even got into the mix of the discussion when it comes to the Jurassic T-Rex. So this guy, uh, I should say, I don't know why you're blue. You shouldn't be blue. Oh, no, 1997 pattern. Okay, hold on, let's try this. There we go, there we go. We'll just pop into Ansel for a second. I need you to close your mouth. There we go. So this is coming to us from Commander Blush, Nick O'Rex, and Dan Murphy1014. Oh, it looks so cute! <laughs> looks like a puppy dog. Oh, that's so adorable. Look at you. Look at you being a little puppy dog. First off, I, we, well, we've got to mention this, the teeth. The teeth right here. In a lot of the uh, animatronics and stuff, that the T-Rex has these weird, uh, or like it has one tooth or no teeth at the front, very few teeth. But the original animatronic um, had quite a few teeth. And it looks like they widened the mouth to accommodate for those teeth out front. So this, I think, uh, if we have a look at the description, does it say, if you were disappointed with the Return to Jurassic Park releases Rex, then this is for you. Cross-referenced with dozens of animatronic stills and one-to-one -one recreation models, this Rex is as accurate as I could possibly make it. And now 
It's free to roam your parks. I wanted to give a quick thanks to Nico Rex and Dan Murphy 1014 for supplying the skins for the two releases. Oh, sorry, I didn't put the skins on, no, but this is the updated model. And oh god, wow, you've taken up 49%. Oh dear. But look, wow, it's it's like you look at it from loads of different angles. And its head changes. Sometimes it looks like the animatronic. Sometimes it looks like the uh, CGI. Now, in Jurassic Park, the animatronic and I think even the CGI uh, T-Rex looked different. They weren't the same, which uh, is kind of strange. Um, and what sparked a lot of people commenting on the T-Rex in the Jurassic World franchise, because it is supposed to be the same T-Rex, Roberta. Or at least the anim animatronic was called Roberta. Or Rexy, so you really can't win. And Colin has even went on record saying that he, he'll do something about this, because the Jurassic World Rex doesn't look like the Jurassic Park Rex. That's 100%. I'm assuming that he might change it in future. Who knows? But there you go. That's that. Oh, time for the Utah Raptor. You say, oh, hold on, bucko. There ain't gonna be any T-Rex. Oh, sorry. Uh, a Utah Raptor in a second because we have first to see this. Oh, yes. You wanted a more badass looking spino with spikes? You got it! This is the Demon Spinosaurus head. Oh my god, looks so cool. Created by Cyborg Xeno. This mod replaces the Spinosaurus in your game with a more unique Spinosaurus. This is my first mod ever, as I just downloaded Blender yesterday. I had seen tons of movie and scientifically accurate mods and wanted something that changed it up a bit and thought I'd make this and share it with others Enjoy. And wow, I love it. Wow, this is the first time with Blender? You did a great job. So what are the differences we can see? Well, let's go in the depth of the field. My favorite thing to play with. Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks so cool. Hold on, guys. Just gotta, uh, just gotta grab the thumbnail. We have changes to the head. Also, it's got like a turkey gullet thing. Uh, we've got some weird texture happening there because they've obviously expanded it. And um, maybe the normal maps haven't translated over correctly. Um, you've also got changes to the sail. I'm sure they were just uh, copy and pasted or duplicated all over the model. Uh, the tail as well has been uh, made, I think, a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Horns added to the back of the shins and the elbows. You know what? It looks really cool. I like it. I like what they've done with it. It looks awesome. Yes, we get a lot of paleontologically accurate things going on, but uh, sometimes it's just nice to have something a little bit different. Oh God, wait, what? How did you kill that? I thought you had like no health. You're 49%. Oh, obviously this guy had less. All right, well, we got a Spinosaurus over there. <gasps> wow, the tail is a lot longer, isn't it? I like it. Demon, demon, I can't wait. If you change it at all, I'd love to check it out. So now the wait you've all been, well, I guess waiting for, uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, that's the one, James. The Utah Raptor. Oh, wow. That's it, basic? Ooh. Jim, what do you think of this one? <laughs> Couldn't have put it any better myself. Wow. <laughs> what, is, what is it? Oh, my God. I was expecting feathers. Um, but instead of, instead of feathers, we got uh, a very... Interesting uh, color scheme. You know what? I don't mind it actually. <laughs> it kind of looks like a chameleon or something. <laughs> look at it going over to get the scraps from the T Rex. That looks quite nice. Okay, well, uh, let's have a look at all the other skins and see if we can pick one that looks the best. Right, what's this one? It is Step, and this one is Alpine. So let's look at Alpine first. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. And let's look at Step. Ooh, we got a lot of greens going on, don't we? I would have... Oh, and what... Are you basic? I don't think you are basic, are you? You're tundra. Wow, we've got loads of them. It's nice to have a big raptor, though. Even though, I guess, Velociraptor is, you know, supposed to be the size of a Utah raptor. Um, it's nice to have a bigger one. I don't know if I would keep it. I like Spinoraptor. I like... Sp it, now, 
If I'm gonna have a Uteraptor in my park, I want it to first hold its hands right, because that ain't right. Jim, yep, that ain't right. <laughs> in fact, we have had feathered raptors in this game that are here now and um, that hold their hands correctly. So I would, I don't know if I want Utah Raptor in this. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Sorry again, I'm gonna have to take a thumbnail. This looks too good to pass up. Just look at it, it's gorgeous. Did Utah Raptor really have those pronounced crests? I could be wrong. Again, I ain't no paleontologist, but I don't recognize those. If this was its own custom dinosaur, I think I would kind of be okay with it. Um, ooh, that's a lovely roll. It doesn't have anything that really makes it stand out, though. And that's what I think we need. Like, these dinosaurs, like this, <laughs> this sauropod has a very uh, strange head. And the Triceratops has a really detailed back and the head crest as well and the horns. It looks kind of cool. Maybe I don't agree with the color scheme too much. Front horn as well looks a bit strange. <laughs> it's like got a Pinocchio nose. It's being extruded out. I think they don't look too bad. Um, this guy also doesn't look too bad, but it ain't a Utah Raptor. It ain't no Utah Raptor. Jim can tell you that. But if you do not like Spinoraptor or Stegoceratops or even Anglodocus, because, I mean, unmodded. I don't know. I think this one's even better. I think this one's better, actually. <laughs> Just, I mean, the face, it's not much of an improvement, but you can't really make it worse now, can you? But, you know, it adds something different. And with everything in this franchise at the moment seeming to be, you know, up in the air, it seems like they had a timeline or a roadmap, like... Jurassic World Dominion, the final movie, was probably going to release with a push for possibly a new game, um, probably new uh, uh, DLCs for this. Oh, look at them! Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh, you are adorable. Go on, catch a fish. Catch a fish. Catch a fish. Wait. Nom, nom. <laughs> oh, you missed one. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. I, don't, I think it's the model, actually. I think the model is selling it. It looks so cute. It does kind of have those killer eyes. I will admit that the black eyes of death like a great white shark has. But uh, the emotional, soulless eyes of a killer. But um, it looks cute with that color and the way it was acting. That's adorable. I wouldn't want to be with, in the same enclosure as this. But it looked adorable. Okay, who's going to win? The definitive Roberta, who's uh, taken a lot of scratches. Or um, the new Utah Raptor. I'm going to say probably the Utah Raptor is going to win this one. I wonder if the eye looked different. Whether I'd be uh, more for it. I don't know. Oh, it's going to die. How do, how do they kill each other? I can't remember this death animation. Do they have one or is it just going to fall over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, that's so compoundish. You could do so much with that. Oh, no. Spinosaurus, you're going to flop over in a second, buddy. Don't do it. No. Oh, my God. Ooh, the blood looks gorgeous. Although, however, it looks very pixelated. Probably because the models changed. Oh, look at his toe. He's become an ambidextrous gorilla. Well, guys, there you have it. A highlight of some of the mods and a shout out to the very incredibly talented moderators because who knows when we're going to get another update for this game. And just having something like this, hey, it, it just keeps me coming back to it, right? Because otherwise, good Lord, who knows? Uh, it would probably be streams or something like that. Oh, look at them. <laughs> okay, and they're growing on me. They're growing on me. I think it's the fact that they have that like giraffe part kind of bottom jaw <laughs> and their eyes. I don't know. They, they're getting cuter. Oh, maybe maybe, in, maybe if I saw them a couple more times, if I release them in a park, I might favor them over Spinoraptor. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because they are adorable. So adorable. Although look at them picking fights with the trikes <laughs> or whatever you call them, the, uh, the R's. Oh yeah, I forgot, of course, because the Triceratops has a rabbing animation. So now we've got a Triceratops that, or like, like the Triceratops said, it looks like a Triceratops, but it waps with its tail. So this one's, is it going to be killed? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, it gets killed. Oh, they, oh no. They were so cute. And now they're all dead. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it off here. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.